much know about it. What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Dreadlock saying, aka I don't get tired mods. And I'm sorry that I haven't dropped a video in a very, very long time. I haven't dropped a tutorial, nothing. My apologies. My PlayStation is still broke. All three of them. Still broke. Yes, I know. I'm taking very long to fix them. Well, um, I'll be fixing it this month or next month for sure. If it's not this month, it's going to be next month. I'm going to try to fix it. My other PS3, the motherboard broke, so that one is out of the plan. And I have another one jailbroken, um, but it has the yellow light of death. And I have another PlayStation that is not jailbroken, but it has the yellow, yellow light of death, sorry. So if I could fix that, I could jailbreak it myself, or I could just fix the yellow light of death on the other jailbroken PlayStation. Well, I'm going to see what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up the pace and get this done so I could drop some brand new, really cool in-depth videos for you guys. But until then, I'm going to have to do it like this. Uh, as far as this video goes, I will want to show you guys how to install a coboot.raf. Also with the stereo, with the sound. Uh, if you guys don't know what a cold boot is, is when your PlayStation boots up. You normally see Sony Entertainment or PlayStation 3 or whatever. A custom cold boot, like what I make, I make them. When you could get them from the internet or whatever, but I, but I make them myself as well. When your PlayStation starts up, they're going to have a cool picture. Any picture that you like of yourself or anything else. Here's a picture. Uh, as you can see here, I have one opened up. Um, here's the picture. This is how it looks when your PlayStation starts up. So this is something really cool. And it also has music in the background if you would like that. And I also make that. So I want to show you guys how to, how to make this. Um... I don't have a PlayStation, so I can't show you, but I could explain you what you have to do. And um, let me start by explaining what you have to do. Yeah, sorry. Let me just get on with the video. Okay. Um, what you need to do is um, launch Rebug Toolbox, or you could use Multiman. Let me explain you how to do it with Multiman. If you use Multiman, you should go to um, go to the settings on your on, in your Multiman. And enable the dev blind and when you do that you could go right on and go into your HDDO oh sorry to your dev blind go into your dev blind then go into VSH go into resource and then look for coboot.raf that's where those things are don't worry you gotta take it out or anything you just gotta you know over overwrite with the new one that you have so let's say you got a coboot this is it right here. This is a kobu.raf. So if you will open up your multi-man, blah, 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 go to dev blind, VSH, resource. Inside of resources, they will have three things like these. So let's say you got a kobu raft for me, or a whole kobu set. You just drag these. Sorry, you just drag these, all of it, except for the preview, of course. You just got to drag these and drag it into that folder, and it will overwrite, and then you're done. You know what I mean? So that is it's as simple as that. Um, if you want, you could back up the original one that was in there for whatever reason. But all you gotta do is get these and then drag it in there. And if you want to do it with uh, Rebug Toolbox, you just same thing. You just load up Rebug Toolbox. You go to FileZilla, connect, and you go to Dev Blind, Dev Rebug, VSH, Resource, and then you drag these three right into there. And that's how you do it. And then you'll get the, 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 the picture and the sound with it. So and this one was this, you know, but I got a whole lot of other ones. And I could make it for you. You know, I got different ones. Yeah, this one doesn't have the background because this was the picture itself when I finished made it. I don't have a preview, but this is how it's going to look when it starts up. I have a lot of them. Um, I got all type type of ones. See what I mean? These are old, by the way. I got very, very new ones. Um, yeah, I got a I hope this video was helpful. And if you guys want to, uh, 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 to customize the PS3 some more, you just need a cold boot. That would be dope. Just hit me up in the comment box or add me on Skype. Everything is in the description and I could make you one or give you one. Um, yeah, that's about it. So sorry again and subscribe, like this video if it was helpful. Uh, holla at your boy, Dreadlock Saint.
and at the end of the video I'm gonna show you how it looks when when a, when a PS3 loads up with a custom cold boot how it looks I'm gonna show you that right now <laughs> 